So we have some changes now in treatment options with the Omicron variant prevalent in Kansas. What are the options for treatment if you get it? Okay, since Jessica Watson talked to one pharmacist to break it down, Jess. Craig, this new variant is changing how the community treats those who have COVID. And while two options no longer work with this new variant, the good news is that there are four other options still available. On Monday, we got word from the FDA that they are no longer allowing the use of two of what we call monoclonal antibody treatments. Those treatments are used for patients who have mild to moderate COVID and are at risk of a severe case. Jim Geralt's the vice president of pharmacy services for Ascension Via Christi, says the FDA's decision is meant to make sure the most effective treatment is available for patients. To show that neither of those two monoclonal antibodies that were removed for use, neither was effective against Omicron. Gerald says there are still two other monoclonal antibody treatments that are effective in treating Omicron, Jatovimab and Redesivir. Both have been useful treatments at Ascension via Christi. Redesivir previously was a treatment used only for those who were hospitalized. Can Remdesivir be very effective in the hospitalized patients? Um, we usually give it for at least five days, sometimes longer. And really what it does is, is just shortens the course of therapy hopefully keeps maybe some patients from even going on a ventilator. Geralt says there are also two new antiviral treatments that can be taken orally. They actually stop the Omicron virus from reproducing itself in the body and therefore stopping the infection from getting any worse. Gerlitz says now that remdesivir can be offered without hospitalization, some patients who were hospitalized could continue treatment at home with visits to the clinic. Here for you, Jessica Watson, KSN News 3.